Okay, so to begin this month, on April 11, 2023, we will have the Venus-Pleiades conjunction where Venus will appear close to the Pleiades star cluster, also called the Seven Sisters. It will be a magnificent opportunity to observe the brightest planet in the sky close to a star cluster visible to the naked eye. The conjunction event will be observable in the early evening to the west after sunset. You might also want to be in a location with a clear view of the western horizon to have more time to view the event before the two objects set below the horizon. You do not need a telescope or binoculars to witness the celestial occurrence. Next up, on April 12, Mercury will reach its greatest eastern elongation of 19.5 degrees from the Sun. The moment means Mercury will be at its farthest distance from our star when viewed from Earth in the evening sky making it visible after sunset. Look for the elusive planet low in the western sky just after sunset. In astronomy, an elongation refers to the angle between the sun and another celestial object as seen from Earth. For example, from our perspective, Mercury keeps moving towards and away from our star throughout the year as it moves around its orbit, as you can see here. Greatest elongation refers to a celestial object reaching its farthest angle from the Sun when seen from Earth, like in this example, when Mercury begins to slow down in the sky after speeding up. On April 16, there will be two astronomical events on this night, the Moon Perigee and the Moon-Saturn conjunction. During the Moon's perigee, our natural satellite will reach its closest approach to our planet, placing it at 368,000 kilometers from us, meaning it'll appear larger and brighter in the sky. In astronomy, a perigee refers to the point in the orbit of a satellite or the moon where it is nearest to Earth. Additionally, the moon will pass very close to Saturn, visible in the early morning sky. The distance between the two bodies will be 3 degrees and 29 minutes. Later that day, at 612 Greenwich Mean Time, they will come even closer to each other and the distance will decrease to 3 degrees, which is 6 times the width of the full moon. One can view this with the naked eye or through a telescope. The best time to view this event is when the sky is dark and clear and ensure you have a clear view of the horizon to have more time to witness the event. You can also use a star chart or an app like Stellarium to help you locate Saturn and the moon. The moon will be in its waning crescent phase with 72% illumination on this night. On April 20, we will have a special event called a hybrid solar eclipse, which is rare since it happens once per decade. This solar eclipse occurs when the moon is almost too close to the earth to block the sun, resulting in different areas of the world seeing it as an annular or a total solar eclipse. This hybrid solar eclipse will transition from annular to total and back again at two specific points. However, both are at remote locations at sea. The eclipse path will begin in the southern Indian Ocean and move across parts of western Australia and southern Indonesia, as seen on this map. Areas outside the violet line, such as the Philippines, will only witness a partial solar eclipse. For those interested in observing the event, looking directly at the eclipse is not a good idea since it could cause eye damage. The best ways to view it would include using solar eclipse glasses that are cheap and easy to find online like on Shopee or Amazon. You can make a pinhole projection or use solar filters to view the event safely. On April 22, we will have a Moon Pleiades conjunction where our natural satellite will appear close to the famed Pleiades star cluster in the heavens, also called the Seven Sisters. The event is visible in the early evening after sunset, and the bright planet Venus will accompany the conjunction. You might want a clear view of the western horizon to have more time to witness the astronomical event since they will be low in the sky after sunset. From April 22 to 23, we will have the peak of an average meteor shower called the Lyrids. The meteor shower comes from dust particles left by comet C1861 G1 Thatcher and it runs annually from April 16 to 25. It peaks this year on the night of the 22nd and the morning of the 23rd, peaking at 20 meteors per hour. 
The thin crescent moon will set early in the evening, leaving dark skies for what should be an excellent show. The best place to experience the meteor shower will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Lyra, hence its name, but can appear anywhere in the sky. On April 23, we will have the Moon-Venus conjunction where the Moon will appear close to the second planet from the Sun in the heavens. The apparent distance between the two objects will be 1 degree and 18 minutes, meaning they are too far apart to spot them in the field of view of a telescope, but one can see the conjunction with the naked eye or binoculars. The heavenly occurrence will occur in the early evening after sunset so you need a clear view of the western horizon to have more time to observe the two celestial bodies. On April 26, we will have a Moon-Mars conjunction where our natural satellite will appear close to the red planet in the night sky. The apparent distance between the two objects will be 3 degrees and 13 minutes, meaning they are too far apart to spot them at once via telescope. But you can still see the conjunction with the naked eye or binoculars. The conjunction event will become visible in the early evening after sunset. Finally, on April 28, we will have a moon apogee where the moon reaches its farthest point from Earth. It will be approximately 404,300 kilometers away from us and be in its first quarter phase. Our natural satellite will appear smaller than usual, but the difference will be subtle. In astronomy, an apogee refers to the point in the orbit of a satellite or the moon where it is farthest from the Earth. So that's it for the highlight astronomical events for April 2023 guys, and I hope that you found this video useful and informative so far, and hopefully some if not most of you will experience some or most of the astronomical events for April 2023, especially the upcoming hybrid solar eclipse. And I just proceeded directly with the astronomical events instead of going with the intro first because the intro just felt sort of redundant and too much of an extra so I just decided to remove it and go straight to the highlight astronomical events. And so for those of you who have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit the notification bell below to help me out. And so without further ado, I wish you good luck, clear skies, and enjoy the universe before your very eyes. And see you next time. And babouche. Thank you.